Hey everybody, welcome to not so sunny La Quinta, California. I'm out here with my line uh, working together for a bunch of uh, hours now. Did a really cool video that you guys will see coming up on the channel, Milo versus Drew. And uh, so put in the comments, who, who do you think won that competition? Milo or Drew? Keep in mind that Milo is only 5'9", five nine. Five nine. <laughs> and uh, Drew is like 6'4". Uh, if that matters, golf ball doesn't matter. So uh, we're talking about today, uh, Milo, you've written this really interesting concept of there's so many lines that people can talk about in the golf swing. Down the line lines, uh, face on lines. This is a line that's more of like a POV line from like your own point of view. Uh, I'm going to give you this club and talk about how the, the chest and the club stay parallel. We've been so, about. I, as everybody knows, I come from other sports. Yeah. When I swing a baseball bat, at contact, my chest and the bat are parallel to each other. Yeah. And my goal in a golf swing is to have that same dynamic. So as I'm swinging this club, when I reach shaft parallel, yeah. I want my chest parallel to the shaft. And then at impact, I want to feel like I'm getting my chest and the shaft parallel to each other. So the, the club is, I feel like it's never passing me. Now, that's not physically possible. Yeah. But if that's what I feel like happens, I really can press it good. Okay, um, I know that when, when people see people on the range or wherever, like longtime golfers see other golfers on the range doing this thing where they're going like this and they're going like this, they'll say, hey, look at that guy. What an idiot. He's trying to hold the leg. You don't hold the leg. Are you holding the leg when you're doing this? No. No. So My, how are you not doing what these people would be making fun of people for doing? Generally, the thing that they're holding is they're holding this angle here. So wait a second. So they're trying to keep this unit they're frozen. To, they're trying to hold radial hinge so it's going this way, like this. Uh -huh. What I'm, I'm not actually holding anything. My pivot holds it. So your wrists are soft. So My wrists are really soft. Yes. But yeah. what I want to feel like I'm doing is I want to feel like I'm moving in a way that the club moves with me like this. I don't want this club flying by me. Yeah. So... Okay, Milo, we're going to slow this one down, and, and it's my club, mind you. Do you want your own club? No. Okay. I can hit any golf club. All right, so I want to see, in slow, when I play this one back in slow motion, hit it as ever far short as you need to, but I want to be able to see at at top, at halfway down, at impact, so, and, and here, this line and this line. At top, it's not parallel. Oh, okay. So at top, it's swing past. You know, it's, it's going farther than I have. Right. It starts to be parallel about here, and I want to feel like it's parallel all the way to the ball. So, so show, show us one where you're going to have that parallel relationship okay. for a while. Okay. All right, the one thing I'll add to this, Milo, is how does this relate to hitting pulls? So some oh. golfers hit pulls with the dead shut face. Some hit them with their path, but some hit them just by crossing over. You said that this relates to the way I hit pulls. So you hit pulls because your club actually goes this way into the golf ball. So your chest is pointed more or less at the ball, but the club is going past you in that way. Yeah. So that's a pull. So there's two ways you can make end out path. One way would be to keep your body closed and get the club to come into the ball this way, which in my opinion, I don't like it. It's not very athletic. Yeah. I prefer my pivot to work symmetrically like this and this golf club to follow along. And you can see my path is still in to out, even though yeah. yeah, I'm not, I'm turning. So I'm turning really early. My, club, my path is still in to out. Okay, so if people are saying like, okay, those lines, they look good. Like I like, the, they like the idea of the wide arms and this and this are parallel. They're still parallel. They're still parallel. How can they do that? What's like like what's an what's an effective strategy to to get them doing that rather than just like kind of like we did with you. Yeah. I've had you start small, get so come up to the top, come down, get the club parallel to your chest, uh -huh. and then do a little pump and hit it, and never let go of all the angles. So you have to learn how to turn through it. All right, let's do that. Your tendency was to not turn all the way through. You kind of stall the pivots with a little, and had a little slide in it. Yeah, slung it out. So you, you're going to want to see people go here, 
I'm feeling don't that pull your arms forward. Too. Don't pull your arms forward. Yeah, don't don't do that. It's, now turn this. So that that's different, right? Yeah. That. Yeah. You don't pull your arms forward. So one pump and then hit it, right? One one pump and then hit a little pitch out there with no throw. There you go. That ball never, go, that didn't go left, did it? No, it didn't go left. And it was secure. It was pretty solid. Let me try one a little bit more distant. Uh, so I want to hit one, but I actually don't want it to cross over. You have fun momentum. So I want you to learn how to hold it off. Like that one. Yeah. the feeling like you say here you're turning into the arm turning into the arm and then you keep turning the arm all the way through okay and then we'll step it up just for time's sake to a little fuller without the uh without the pump right yeah and now do the same thing with no pumps so you said more like in flow right yep but you're still yeah. holding it so you're not going to let it don't, don't don't let it release so much yet. oh i got you yeah, like that. So here, I'm going to swing into the arm a little bit. Perfect. That was good. Fading a little too, which I like. So we're taking all the throw out of your swing. Okay, so then building up speed to the final level here, which is I'm basically going to do the same thing, but my finish is going to be a little fuller. And then I just won't be able to now fight. Naturally, momentum is going to unload that club for you, so you're going to feel like you're doing the same thing. Though. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing the same thing, just a little bit bigger, and then that's. I, I'm just not going to be able to hold. It. Yep, it won't. It won't hold. It'll start playing. So off. when I freeze the video, it'll still be like this, but then it just won't be able to go. Right. That's the idea. It's too early. Go. Yeah, that was really good. No more pull hook. Yeah, that was really good. Milo has just started a new website called MiloLinesGolf.com that has hundreds of videos. People that you've seen on Be Better Golf before are on the, those videos. And then also, it's not just like something where people are just watching videos hoping to get what they get out of it. It's interactive, right? Well, the reason I created is to be able to interact with more people. So I put together a little team of, of instructors who are really good we all are of the same mind and everybody who signs up will get a monthly evaluation of their game so that they're getting personalized instruction and they're getting directed toward the videos that actually apply to them rather than them just like going and watching videos and trying to do it we'll actually direct them and give them the drills that apply to them if you go uh, look in the description to this video and if you use the promo code be better on MiloLinesGolf.com, you're gonna get 10% off, which is like really good. That's like over a month free on MiloLinesGolf.com using that promo code, Be Better. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.